Okay, this is going to be part two of the series on improper integrals. And in the first video, remember we divide or showed where these three cases came from and also discussed what it meant for an integral to be convergent or divergent. And in the first video, we looked at an integral that went from A off to a positive infinity. So it was like this case one problem here. And in this video, we'll also look at another case one problem, except that this one's going to require U substitution. But again, it's going to go from some fixed number A off to the right toward a positive infinity. So let's see what the problem looks like. Okay, now the problem itself looks like this. You want to go from 1 to infinity and find the integral from 1 to infinity of this thing right here. Now before we get into the rules, let's real quickly show what a graph of it would look like. If you were to graph it, it would actually look like this. So it's got an asymptote at uh, x is equal to a negative one half, and the curve looks like this. Now, graphically, what you're doing here is this. <clears throat> you want to find uh, the integral from 1. So we'll just kind of put 1 on the graph and say it's about right here. So there's 1. And we want to go off to a positive infinity, so way off here to the right to a positive infinity. So we want to find the area under this curve in here, that integral. <clears throat> Now remember what the rule says is this, is you don't have a formula for one to an infinite limit. So what we'll do is go back to these rules, and the rule says to do this. Pick a point B uh, that's somewhere off to the right of A, and evaluate that as a definite integral. Then take the limit as B approaches infinity, and you'll have the limit all the way to infinity here. So kind of a two-part process. So first of all, let's go ahead and pick some number b and see what that looks like on the graph. Okay, so what we'll do is come over here and just, you can imagine if you came out to about right here, we'll just pick some number b and we'll find the definite integral, which will give us this area in here between uh, 1 and b. Then we'll take the limit as b goes to infinity, which will add this additional area out here. So let's run through the steps and see what it looks like. So again, step one says, find this black part in here, the definite integral from A to B. Okay, now what we'll do, we'll set it up and we're gonna run it from, this will be step number one. So what step one says is find the definite integral from one, instead of infinity though, take it out to a fixed number B of one over um, two X plus one squared dx. <clears throat> now the only thing that's really different about this is that this problem is going to require u substitution because you've got something more complicated than just a simple x. So what we'll do in this problem, we'll let this part right here be our u, and it'll just be just a traditional u substitution problem. So we'll let u be equal to uh, 2x plus 1, then find the derivative. So the derivative of u with respect to x would be equal to 2. So that means that du would be equal to 2dx. And we're trying to get rid of this dx right here. So take 2, move it over to this side, and you'd have 1 half du would be equal to dx. So this dx right here matches up with this dx, and that's going to be your u substitution right here. But we'll also, in this case, have to change the limits. So what we'll do is we'll set it up like this. That gets us to this point. This is going to become the integral of 1 over, and we'll replace this with u squared. And then in place of dx, we'll put what it's equal to, which is 1 half du. du. Okay, now these would be the x limits, so we're also going to have to change the limits, so let's go ahead and do that. <clears throat> so we'll work on the limits down here. So the limits. So when, first of all, when x is equal to b, then u would be equal to, and plug a b into this thing, so a, a b into this right here, it would be 2b plus one. So this upper limit here is going to be 2b plus 1. Now let's also change the lower limit. So when x is equal to 1, then u would be equal to 2 times 1 
plus 1, which would be equal to 3. So this is going to go from 3. <clears throat> so change the limits into u limits and uh, change u. So there's the u substitution. So now you've got it set up for u substitution. And now it's just a matter of running through this problem. <clears throat> so what this is going to look like, first of all, we'll bring the 1 half out in front. So it would be 1 half the integral from 3 to 2b plus 1. Of, and we'll go ahead and make this u, uh, 1 over u squared. We'll move it to the top make it be u to the negative 2. So this will be u to the negative 2 du. <coughs> okay, now go ahead and find the antiderivative of that. So that's going to be u to the negative 1 divided by negative 1 evaluated from uh, 2b plus 1 to 3. Now I think I'll just rearrange things here a little bit and make this be, here's the 1 half, and let's go ahead and move the negative up on the top, and u to the negative 1 would be 1 over u to the positive 1, so you'd wind up with a negative 1 over u um, evaluated from 3 to 2b two plus 1. Okay. So now it's just a matter of plugging in the top and the bottom. And actually, I think I'll do this too. I'll take this negative and move it out in front and make it be a negative 1 half. And now, uh, evaluate it at the top number minus evaluate at the bottom number. So we'll make this be 1 over 2b plus 1. And then minus the function evaluated at the bottom number, which would be 1 over 3. So in general terms, what this is, this is the uh, solution if you went from 1 to b. But what we want is the limit of this solution. So remember step 2 says, now that you've got the first part, let's look at it. You've now got this black part right here. You know the definite integral from 1 to b. So now what you want to do is take the limit as b approaches infinity, and you'll have the overall integral. So what we'll do is take uh, the limit and this would be step two, it says take the limit as b approaches infinity of this thing right here. Of, again, you've got a negative one half of one over two b plus one, then minus one third. So what that's going to look like, now again, what it, graphically what it looks like is this. You're going to let b move this direction and go out toward a positive infinity, which will pick up this little additional area up in here. So if you take the limit as b approaches infinity, you have a b in the denominator, so you've got 1 divided by an increasingly large number. This entire term right here will go to 0. And the 1 thirds a constant, so what that will leave you with is this. You've got the negative 1 half then times, and the only thing that's left over on the inside is a negative one-third. So the two negatives make a positive, add it together, and you would get one-sixth. And what this is, this is the actual area under this curve if you went all the way out to infinity. So when you got finished with this thing, it will turn out to be equal to one-sixth and what that means is, since it's settled on a fixed number, that it is convergent. So this problem converges. And again, looking at our rules, um, if you evaluate the integral and it settles on a fixed number, then the limit exists and the problem is convergent. If it had gone off to infinity, then it would not settle on the fixed number, the limit wouldn't exist, and it would be divergent. So again, the, the real trick here is just it's nothing more than uh, a use substitution. So again, use a two-step process. First of all, pick some fixed number b right here and evaluate a definite integral from 1 to b, and you'll get this solution right here. So this is the integral from 1 to b. Then the second part of the problem is now take the limit as b approaches infinity, and you'll pick up that extra area, and you'll have a whole thing. So again, you're following the two-step process where first step, 
evaluate this definite integral, then step two, take the limit as b approaches infinity, and you got the final answer. So there's a sample of improper integrals with u substitution.